This is problem 12.7 from chapter 12 of Brigham and Houston's Fundamentals of Financial Management, Concise Ninth Edition. And here we're being asked to calculate uh, a, um, an expected NP NPV, which means the average NPV or weighted average, the weighted average standard deviation, and the coefficient of variation. The coefficient of variation is the standard deviation divided by the mean. So to calculate the, the mean here, let me go just copy this stuff down so I got some room to work. All right, these are the weights, and those are the values. So you simply multiply weight times value. and then add those together. This times this and then sum them up and that's your mean NPV or the expected value of NPV Right, now the next thing we're asked to do is to calculate the uh, standard deviation. All right, so to calculate the standard deviation, the standard deviation is the, is the square root of the variance, and the variance is the average squared deviation from the mean. So if I get a deviation from the mean, that simply means take each of the values, and then subtract your calculated mean value alright so now the new series has a mean of zero and then square that and that converts them all into positive numbers and then the weight times squared deviation so we're using the same weights that we're using over here and then what you have here is a variance of 558 the standard deviation simply the square root of variance. Okay, so I've got a mean and a standard deviation. The coefficient of variation is defined as oops the coefficient of variation is defined as the standard deviation divided by the mean and given our earlier calculations that's also people can remember that it's the risk per unit of return so it's the risk per unit and we measure risk by standard deviation so it is 7.87 units of risk for every one unit of return and then you'd be able to compare that to other alternatives to see are they on a risk adjusted basis higher or lower or just about the same